Hi there, Rachel Jane Groover here and welcome to the first Awaken TV of 2019. Happy New Year everyone here from Groover Town. I hope you're having a great start to the year and of course New Year's resolutions are always at the top of the list for people thinking about what I need to change, what do I need to alter. Dada and I had a great New Year's Eve of just talking through uh, the last year and all the amazing blessings that came through that year and some of the things that we want to alter, some of the things that we're committed to. And I started to think about what are the top New Year's resolutions that I ever made that made the biggest difference in my whole entire life. And I wanted to share with you what I think the three most powerful resolutions that stuck, that stuck for a, for a while, a long time, or I'm still doing them, let's put it that way. Um, and for you to maybe consider doing these three as well. So the first one is I made the commitment that I wouldn't leave my bedroom in the morning after waking up until I have meditated, until I am in my body, and until I feel what I would call clear for the day. I do not get up and do email or do social media or anything like that. I am going to stay in that room. If I need 30 minutes of meditation, if I need an hour of meditation until I feel clear. And that is huge because the first things that you do in the morning set you up for the entire day. So what is more important than starting it right? And what would that look like for you? What is your morning first 30 minutes? You know, how does it set you up? in an emotional, energetic, physical state. So that's number one. The second most powerful um, New Year's resolution I made many years ago, I was on it and off it, and then I'm like, I am sticking to this baby because it has made a huge difference. And that is eating veggies for breakfast. Now, most people don't eat veggies for breakfast. They might eat fruit if they do anything that's produce related or maybe toast or cereal or whatever you do. Um, but Dada and I have been doing this for many, many years and it's lightly steamed veggies. Think of the veggies that you would love, love, love the most. I love yams and um, cauliflower and broccoli and kale and mushrooms and just whatever you love the most. You pop it in, do a light steam, and then I soak it in either olive oil or now coconut oil and herbs and nutritional yeast and, oh, it is so yummy. Now, the difference that I felt before when I was going in and out of it, sometimes we'd have some oatmeal and then we'd go back or sometimes we'd have, um, you know, toast or whatever. I could feel the huge difference in veggies. You don't get that hit in the in the morning of low sugar, you know, um, release coming. And the third thing that has been the most powerful was actually this 2019. Oh, hello, Dakota. He's come to say Happy New Year. Um, is to get a personal trainer. Um, Anna Nieto, I'll um, put her details here somewhere. She um, has been a, such a godsend for us this year, both Dada and I are working with her. And the reason why I think a personal trainer for many of you is the way to go is accountability. And I've always been on and off a little bit with the, um, you know, going to the gym or not. And she does it on Skype. So to get a trainer who can work with you on Skype anywhere you are. And the reason why this has made one of the biggest differences is because it gets me in my body. It gets me anchored here. I feel better. Just the contraction of my muscles says, I am here. I am feeling more confident. Um, it's huge. So those are my three biggest that I don't think I will ever let go of ever again. What were your three biggest? I'd love to, to hear about it. You could pop a, a note or a, a comment below. That would be great. And if you're watching this not on uh, racheljane.com, you can head over to racheljane.com and sign up at the top of the page for email updates. And that way you will be notified of the next Awaken TV episodes that come out this year. Again, Happy New Year. Really think through some of the most fundamental things you do in the morning and for your body. Because when I'm not clear and clean and healthy and vibrant in my body, I don't have as much life force. And it is all about life force and how much of it is flowing through this 
channel, this receptive channel of yours, or are you dulled? And unfortunately, when we go out and travel and look around, most people are half dead with what they're eating, what they're um, drinking, what they are doing. And I'm not talking about just get, get rid of all of your wonderful pleasures. But if it's about life force and your ability to be home and here, think about some new commitments. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll see you next week on Awaken TV. Talk to you then.